The Shai Mountain Zoo is a founding partner of the Panama Amphibian Rescue Conservation Project. It's one of our Q4C legacy projects and we've been involved since 2009. We have helped provide veterinary and husbandry support as well as financial support through Quarters for Conservation. In early February, a team from Shine Mountain Zoo, we went down for a strategic meeting a workshop in Panama. We went into an area where we've helped to release Adelopis limosis. It was a target or a priority species that is highly threatened with the chytrid fungus in Panama. It's a pathogen that is moving globally, so it's a fungus that gets spread through water and it affects their skin. It builds it up thick to where they, the skin layers are thick and they cannot osmoregulate or breathe any longer. So in Panama, the 12 species that are being worked with by PARC, um, they're priority species because they have a very unique role in that habitat and that ecosystem. Um, they were deemed a priority species either because they're at high risk of extinction because of the chytrid fungus in that area, susceptibility to it, and also they're um, role in the environment. So a lot of amphibians serve as a food source for other animals. They either eat their eggs, their tadpoles, or the adult form. And so when those vanish or disappear, other animals will decline as well. So while we were in Panama, we did help survey for Adelopis limosis, but we also attended their five-year strategic plan, which was very exciting. As the project moves forward, there are some new phases, um, earlier on, it was about breeding the frogs and setting up the insect pods and making sure that we knew how to assure them and keep them alive in uh, human care. But now that that is underway, um, the next step or the really big goal is to actually release them back out into the wild. We went into the rainforest, which is incredible to actually see where these frogs have lived. We saw many different species of frogs. It is very difficult to actually see. You walk really slowly, the rocks are slippery, uh, lots of vegetation, lots of other animals that you're um, encountering and seeing. With the focus of just looking for one species, it is a very slow, tedious walk. Um, just serving and searching and it can it can take quite a while. It's not as wet and muddy when it's the rainy season and the mud is almost like a peanut butter or a butter consistency where you're where you sink into the mud and it's really difficult to walk. The difference in Panama between hiking in Colorado is that we have cut back trails that are zigzag and in Panama the trails just go straight up and straight down and that is through the peanut butter consistency. <laughs> So after searching, unfortunately, we didn't find Adelopus limosis. Some people have reported that they've seen them um, in the last few months, so that's exciting news. Uh, we'll keep searching and continuing and hopefully doing more release trials in that area with that same species in hopes that we will see them again um, and even their own population might rebound. We know that there still probably are individuals there, we just didn't see them on this trip. So one of our other important amphibian projects we do at Shine Mountain Zoo is our Wyoming Toad program. And that's a breed and release program that is very similar to the project in Panama. We've released thousands of tadpoles and hundreds of adult toads. One of our goals is to bring amphibian populations into an assurance environment. So we're going to um, kind of like our Wyoming toads here at Shine Mountain Zoo in Panama, they also were brought in so that we can breed them in human care and then eventually release them back out into the wild. After the meeting, it was really exciting to see us moving towards the next phase of this project. Being able to get animals back out into the wild and do some release trials and their production is amazing. They just recently expanded their insect colony, so lots of bugs to feed all of their amphibians that they have down there. And now it's exciting just to move towards that next step. This trip was funded by the Quarters for Conservation program here at Shine Mountain Zoo. 75 cents from every admission helps support this long-term project in Panama through Quarters for Conservation here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Every time you visit the zoo, you're making a difference for Panama frogs and other species throughout the world.